Hello everyone, I hope that everyone is doing well and everyone is safe. Today we will talk about account payable and accrued expenses. Isn't this excited? It is actually. So, recall that the operation activities in the statement of cash flows are as follows. We have the net income, we have the depreciation, we have the deferred taxes. We have the changes in assets and liabilities, we have the account receivable, we have the inventories, we have the account payable, the accrued expenses, the notes payable, and other. As so long. Anyway, last time we saw the account receivable and the inventories. Today we will see the account payable and the accrued expenses. Yay! So let's begin with the account payable. So, last time we saw that account receivable was an amount of money due to the firm. Since this amount of money has not been received by the firm yet, it represents an outflow of cash in our statement of cash flow represented here by a minus sign. Now, the account payable is the reverse situation. The account payable is the amount of money that a firm owes and has not been received, um, has not been sold out yet. So, the account receivable represents an inflow of cash in our statement of cash flow. Example here. If company A owes $10,000 to company B and this debt is supposed to be sold out, let's say, in one year, to company A, the $10,000 represents an inflow of money in the statement of cash flows followed by a plus sign. To company B though, this $10,000 debt will represent an outflow of cash uh, which is in fact an account receivable to the company B and it is followed here by a minus sign in our statement of cash flow. I hope that this makes perfect sense. Now let's go on to the accrued expenses. The accrued expenses are a bit similar to the account payable in that it represents a company's obligation to make future cash payments. So. Like the account payable, the accrued expense is equally a debt. But in contrast to account payable, the accrued expense is recognized the moment it was incurred. So, remember I have said in the statement of cash flow part 3, if you haven't seen the video yet, please go back before you continue watching this one. So I have said that inventories was a cash inflow represented by a plus sign in our statement of cash flows because the company already anticipated on the purchase of its future material. Now people, same things happen with the accrued expenses. So because the accrued expense was recognized as uh, an expense, even before the payment period, the firm, it's like the firm has already anticipated on its future charge. Thus, it represents in our statement of cash flow an inflow of cash. I hope that this makes sense. Example, if company A owes company B a sum of 10,000, company A and company A prefer to record this transaction as an expense before the payment period, then the 10,000 become, becomes an accrued an accrued expense in the statement of cash flows represented by a plus sign here. Why? Just because the company already anticipated on the payment of its debt. So, in the example that I have taken in this lecture, company A has the choice to record its 10,000 debts as either an account payable or an accrued expense. Both of them, in fact, are in flow of money in our statement of cash flow. However, you should know that there are other circumstances, such as the time at which the debt needs to be sold out, uh, that needs to be considered in order to uh, record a debt as either an account payable 
or an acute expense. I hope that this makes perfect sense. So this is the end of this video. I hope that you have learned uh, something about it and you have enjoyed it too. So uh, I will leave you with that and I will see you shortly. I mean, next time. Uh, for now, take care and don't forget to subscribe to Love Finance YouTube channel. Thank you and have a good day. Bye.